Hi everyone, welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Designing and creating an electric plane is going to be an enormous project. And as aviation is only responsible for around 2% of greenhouse gas emissions, I can't see this being a priority that soon. In addition to that, the battery technology isn't really there yet. It is something that Elon has hinted at though, and if I recall correctly, I think Tesla may have even made a prototype of an electric plane. Elon's trying to balance his time and resources. He really wants to do an electric plane, and I'm sure we all hope Tesla will get around to it too, but I wouldn't afford it to be around for at least another five years really. So let's explore what are the benefits of an electric plane, or EP, over a jet plane, and see how a Tesla plane might function. An electric plane isn't just better for the planet, but it's a better product overall, probably in every way, as far as I can tell. For a start, there's going to be little noise when compared to a jet engine. Jet engines are incredibly noisy, not just on the ground, but when you're in the air too. All the houses that live near the airport so will no longer have to suffer either. I mean, I'm sure the turbines and the EP will be noisy as well, but not at the same level. An electric plane can use VTOL, a vertical takeoff and landing. This makes so much difference. You no longer need runways. You don't need airports to be so big as a result. It makes you rethink the entire airport setup. An electric plane airport will be much cheaper to set up and require a lot less space. More of them can be built around the city. It could make for very quick and easy domestic travel. So with VTOL, you also have the benefit of a helicopter. Therefore, an EP can replace another noisy fossil fuel mode of transport. In fact, I would say Tesla would start with smaller planes first, as the battery technology will take longer until it's ready for the long haul flights just yet. The first planes might not even be commercial, but for private use. I actually hope this is the case, as I'd absolutely love one. And if this has been launched, at a guess, I would hope my Tesla stocks have gone high enough, I just might be able to afford one. I'm not really big on luxury items or exorbitant spending, but I think I would have to make an exception here, and I bet I'm not the only one. It's going to be the ultimate toy. The EPs can go faster than jet planes too. In fact, they'll be able to go supersonic. We haven't had a supersonic commercial airplane since the Concorde, and what a plane that was. With a maximum speed of over 2,000 kilometers an hour, you could get to New York from Paris in under three hours. Do you understand what that means? It opens up the world more. It makes everything closer and more accessible. It's major. But how can they go so fast? Well, they can fly higher than a jet engine. I think they can actually enter the stratosphere. The issue for a jet engine is they're burning fuel. And when you're burning fuel, oxygen's required. The higher you go, the thinner the air gets, meaning there's less oxygen available for the jets to run efficiently. Electric motors don't need oxygen, as they're not burning any fuel. So the higher you get, the thinner the air becomes, which means there's less air. Less air means less air resistance. Air creates friction, which slows you down. If you can get past that, then you can go a lot faster. A jet engine won't be able to produce as much lift either if the air is thinner. This was also part of the genius of the Concorde. It was able to reach 60,000 feet, compared to a 747, which has a maximum altitude of around 45,000 feet. Presumably, an EP will go higher again, and maybe even faster. Of course, due to less air resistance, it obviously makes the plane more efficient too, and would thus require less energy to make it run. However, the issue is getting up there in the first place. That does take a lot of energy. Once you've reached the stratosphere, then it would actually be very efficient to run. In other words, once you get up that high, you should be able to go anywhere in the world quickly with minimal energy. The trick is having a battery that still holds enough energy for a flight once you've reached altitude. Elon Musk says batteries need to reach around 400 watt hours per kg for flying, and long haul flights might require even more. So watts per kg is how much energy you can store in one kg. Due to planes having to take off, weight is incredibly important. Batteries are still very heavy, heavy, but this technology is getting better and power is getting more denser. It's estimated that Tesla's new batteries are around 300 watt hours per kg now, with a path to reach 380 not too far away, so we're pretty close. And this is for the batteries designed for cars, which also need to be designed to keep costs down, which is less important with a plane, as it's a more expensive product. So perhaps they could create a more expensive battery for flight with higher density. Anyway, Tesla are not far from reaching this milestone, which is very exciting. Another great thing about VTOL is that you have vertical landing too. One great feature about landing vertically means that you descend and you can use gravitational force to generate energy in the turbines that will then recharge the battery, thus saving further on energy. 
I would say electric planes themselves must cost less money to manufacture than a jet. It's a much more simple product with so many less moving parts. Of course, way less maintenance, just like internal combustion cars compared to EVs. Another huge saving. A jet engine only has a life of about 15,000 hours or so. And I believe it has to be replaced after that, which is not cheap. And yes, of course, the cost of fuel. There is no fuel. So given all that, I think air travel should come down in price significantly and can't see how Boeing could ever compete. They might possibly end up trying to make their own electric plane, but I imagine that would go a similar way to how the legacy automakers tried to make their EVs. Not that well. Although degradation may be tougher on these batteries, as they will likely have to charge 100% and fly until the battery is very low, but with air travel, then you can justify replacing the batteries ever so often, it will still be feasible. Remember, you won't fall out the sky if the battery runs low, you just start descending and the battery will recharge. Although degradation may be tougher on these batteries, as they will likely have to charge 100% and fly until the battery is low, but with air travel, you can justify replacing the batteries ever so often and it will still be feasible. Remember, you won't fall out of the sky if the battery runs low, you just start descending and the battery will recharge. A jet engine won't be able to produce as much lift if the air is thinner too. It could revolutionize air travel Imagine if it was now feasible for you to fly across the country quickly and easily just to meet friends and family for dinner and then fly home. Well, of course, you won't be doing the actual flying. Autonomy is much simpler with air travel. You just enter your destination and it will take you there. Okay, perhaps it may not be from your home. Perhaps a service more like buses. You go to the bus stop or electric plane stop and then you taxi from one city to another from there. I don't know that much about air travel regulation or how it all might work logistically. So before anyone says you can't do that, my point was really just the concept of how amazing it could be. But this could be a Tesla plane, remember? So can you imagine the design? It will look so futuristic. Maybe it will have a glass roof like Tesla cars. Imagine the view you'd get. Tesla get to reinvent yet another mode of transport. Although maybe the roof would be made of solar panels to further charge the battery. The sun is always shining in the stratosphere unless it's night of course. There are more efficient solar panels than the ones you put on your roof, but they're not feasible for residential as the cost is too high. But on an aircraft, you can use some really efficient solar panels to gain the extra range. I'm not sure how much impact it would have on range, but I would have thought every little bit makes a difference. If it did have a reasonable impact, then it might mean that for a long haul flight, you must travel in the day and only fly east to make sure you stay in the sun, at least initially until batteries become more efficient. Don't forget, Elon has plenty of resources from his other company, SpaceX, too. I'd say there's likely some complementary resources that Tesla could use from there easily enough. If Tesla have created a faster plane with VTOL and all these other great features, then you can bet the military are going to be interested. All of them. But then that raises a moral dilemma of which militaries do you offer this technology to? It's an advantage for a nation. Sure, someone in China may try and clone it, but it doesn't appear Tesla's technology is the easiest to reverse engineer or I would have thought we would have seen some better performing EVs by now from the competition. So at least for a while, it would be a military advantage. Then who would decide what military Tesla are allowed to sell to? Presumably Tesla. It's becoming an incredibly powerful company. And we very much look forward to seeing what a Tesla electric plane will look like. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.